Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna take you with me as I go on a wild painting spree. I've been wanting to do this all summer long where I just do nothing one day but paint furniture out on my driveway with my paint sprayer. And finally this week it happened, uh, the weather was just perfect. I needed a day that was sunny, you know, not humid, and not too windy is always best. So that happened. I realized to many people it probably doesn't sound like a lot of fun to go outside and you know paint the whole day but to me I had so much fun I love to paint and I love to give a new look to something so I was in my glory as I worked out there I do want to mention I spent a couple hours the day before getting my furniture ready I cleaned it up took the hardware off uh, sometimes that takes just as long or longer as actually you know painting it uh, but I felt I could have squeezed everything in one day since I didn't start painting until after lunch on my crazy paint day. The reason I mention that is I get a lot of questions about that, like how long does it take me to paint a piece of furniture? Of course you guys can't tell because everything's always in fast forward, you can't tell how long it really takes me, but I would say everything you see in this video could have definitely been done in one long day. And I give credit for that to my paint sprayer. It definitely speeds things up if you have a sprayer. I don't always use it since you know during the winter I can't go outside on my driveway and paint, so I, I'll just paint in, inside where I'll use a brush and a roller. Nothing wrong with that, but if I have a beautiful day and a paint sprayer, I'll definitely pick that method. So if you're looking for a good paint sprayer, I would definitely recommend the one I used. I just love it. I always said nothing can replace my good old paint sprayer, but I do feel it has been replaced. I feel it's the same quality as the old one. It's just a newer version and everything just works even better. So basically what I'm doing here is just going through some of the furniture here in the shop. Um, some of the pieces don't even really need any paint. I'm just cleaning them up and then I'll transfer them up to the white shop. But it's just such a good feeling to kind of sort through some of these pieces that I just haven't had the chance to do all summer. Okay guys, so I'll be doing a quick unboxing of sorts here. 
Um, about a year ago, I had actually purchased this paint sprayer because I was afraid my old one would give out. And so far it's kept going. Um, I still use it. Uh, some of the parts I'm not able to unscrew anymore, like to take it apart to clean it. So I'm always kind of worried about that. You know, it could eventually just start clogging up for me, but um, I just kind of pushed off on starting, you know, anything new here. I'm weird in that way, I know, but as long as my old one still works, you know, that's what I'll keep using. But I thought today, since I'm doing a crazy paint day, I'm so excited for this, I'm gonna use my new one here and then have a little unboxing here and show you guys what I got in case you wanna purchase something like this. I got it from Amazon. And I do wanna mention our air system here is probably different from what you would use at home. Uh, my dad had set it up for me years ago. We have an air compressor up in the building in front of me here, the white shop. Um, I know I've mentioned it before, but it pumps air into a big tank, which is in the attic space of this shop. And then I have an endless supply of air, which is awesome. Now you can also just buy an air compressor, but you would need to definitely get a large enough one to run your sprayer with. It does kind of take a lot of air to run a paint sprayer. Um, I'm sure that people at Lowe's or Menards or wherever you'd purchase your air compressor would be able to help you as far as the, what kind of, I think it's PSI, not sure is that the right term, but what you would need to actually run a sprayer like this. Um, the only part I'll be using here from my old sprayer is this part here. And I know it's gonna look so old and shabby next to this brand new sprayer, but it is so important to me. It's called a regulator. And what it does is like our air tank right now has about 100 pounds of air in there. And of course that is way too much air to run through a paint sprayer like this. Typically I use, I think closer to maybe 30 to 40 pounds. I think that's even just a bit more than what they would recommend, but often I guess I probably don't thin my paint down as much as they would recommend, you know, on your you know instructions, but um, I just, it's worked for me for years already. It hasn't ever ruined an air sprayer, you know, a paint sprayer that I know of, and it kind of seems to work. But what this does is I can turn, I have a knob here that I can turn to actually regulate how much air flow goes through my sprayer. So let's get this thing out of the box. So excited. I have all my paint sitting here ready to go and then also the furniture that I cleaned up yesterday is waiting for some paint. So I'm trying to kind of group my pieces of furniture together color-wise so that when I have that certain color in my sprayer anyway, I have the right pieces out here. Uh, these end tables will probably be painted one of my favorite colors of white, which is called Spectral. And I know guys, I often paint my furniture white, but most of these pieces will be sold and that is what sells the best. Um, neutral, white especially, and you know, gray, black. I think this piece I may end up just painting the sides and the top and the frame part here white and leave the drawers this color. And this little table here will be painted a bright white and the edge is distressed and possibly I may end up putting a piece of one of my favorite wallpapers on here, that newspaper print. You guys have seen me use that quite often, but I think that would kind of look neat in the middle there. And this cupboard, I really do like the green color. I wonder what you guys think, 
but I think I'm going to end up painting the inside white, just a bright white color. And I may end up also using my newspaper print wallpaper for the shelves here because I have a feeling some of these marks here are going to come through, bleeding through my paint. So I may just be better off covering it with wallpaper or contact paper or something. But I think the outside, I know this will take some more time than if I just paint it all one color, but I'm thinking of still keeping the outside some kind of green color. I do have a really pretty green uh, that I thought I may end up using. Um, this center part will definitely be painted too, but I'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind as I go here, but as of now, that's kind of what I'm planning on doing. And this little stand here, so cute. I think I'm going to paint the spectral color also. It just has a nice black base here that would work great to bring some of those edges out. As you can see, there's some details on here. I'm not sure is the camera picking them up or not, but there's a couple nicks and dents in here. Uh, but I think it would look great actually with kind of a really distressed look here. Here I have a shelf that just needs, basically just needs a fresh coat of white paint. And then this bird cage will also be painted white with distressed edges. Love the base color. It's so nice to bring that out. So these end table legs have little brass attachments on the end that I decided to keep. So I will be putting tape over that so I don't get paint on them. I thought they would match the hardware of the drawers and maybe look kind of good together. So again, the first color I'll be using here is just the regular bright white color off the shelf at the hardware store. Do It Best brand paint. Thin down just a bit for my sprayer. So the only prep work most of these pieces really needed was just being cleaned up. For some of the pieces I sanded the tops uh, just to dull them up a bit. Since this morning was just a bit chilly, I ended up starting the actual painting process right after lunch. So the exact time here is 11.42. I added another piece to my collection here that I want to paint bright white and this desk had been painted before when I bought it. Um, it looks like someone may have used chalk paint. Um, it did turn out a bit streaky. I think what I'll do here is just apply another coat of white paint uh, just to freshen it up. It is now 108 and I plan to paint with a spectral colored paint next.
here is the last piece of furniture that I will be painting with spectral colored paint today. It is the bottom part of an enormous hutch and I plan to turn it into a buffet. It is the same style of furniture as the other little black stand that I had painted uh, just a bit ago. Um, it also has the little dents and nicks in here and I think it would look great, you know, really distressed. And I love the open drawers here. Well, I don't know if that's what you call it or not, but um, I love the style of drawer here. When I first saw it, I thought it would look so good if these were still the natural wood color. So I'm going to see what I can do with them. For now, I'm not going to paint them. I could always paint them another color or just end up, you know, painting them white too. But I think they would look great if they were just, you know, a natural wood. Or maybe I'll just end up painting them like a tan or a brown color. And the one drawer has a section of the corner off here. I really wish I had that piece. I would try to glue it on, but I don't. The next color I'll be working with is this pretty green color. Um, it is called Something Ballroom. My color name is Paint It Over, so I'm not sure what the name is. I'll find it for you guys, but it's really, yeah, a pretty green color. So the three pieces I'll be painting next are the two end tables here, and then the other piece is this cabinet here that I had painted the inside white. So the next color I'll be using here is Livingston Gray, it's called. And by the way, I'm not washing my sprayer in between these colors. I'm just spraying until nothing comes from the previous color, adding the new one, and it seems to work. So that really is saving me a lot of time because it does take a lot of time to wash a sprayer. So I have two pieces of furniture that are going to be painted this color. So the first piece here is a dry sink. It's not an actual antique. I had picked it up at a garage sale. Not sure what I gave for it. I'm thinking 10 or $15. And I'll go ahead and paint this first because I don't have a lot of paint. And just in case I run out, I will paint this little bookshelf another color. But as of now, I'm planning on also painting it gray. I did end up not having enough gray paint to do this shelf here, so I'll be going to my last color for today, that is Toasted Poppy Seed. It is a really dark gray, almost black color, and my last two pieces are going to be that color. I plan to put contact paper or wallpaper on the back part of the shelf here, so I didn't bother painting that. So the last piece is kind of interesting. Um, 
nothing too fancy here guys but it is a wooden filing cabinet and when I saw it first someone just gave it to me I was like what am I ever going to do with it to turn it you know really beautiful and I have since decided it probably needs to be you know have kind of an industrial look so what I plan to do is just paint it this toasted poppy seed color and then eventually add a wooden top uh, like old darkened wood top to it maybe some pools on the drawers thought a decal would look really great on this piece so I designed this one it is available on my Etsy shop um, and no there isn't a company name like this that I know of totally made it up I just hung up this drop cloth here on the garage door for a staging site for the furniture. Nothing fancy here guys, but I thought it would look better than the background that you would see looking into the dark shop. So I have a few pieces of furniture that I'm not finished with yet, but I'll still go ahead and show them to you. Um, I have more plans for them, and I just feel like it would make a better you know, future video. This video will be too long the way it is, so stay tuned for that if you wanna know what the final outcome is. But one of the pieces is this green cabinet here. Um, there's just more I wanna do with it. piece that I am not finished with yet of course is this filing cabinet this buffet has so much more potential can't wait to work more on it and I'll definitely update you guys once I have it finished This little stand here is another piece that I'm not quite done with yet. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there was a lot of things going on in it and I probably could have split it into a couple of videos, but 
I thought I'll just throw everything in this one and kind of share my crazy paint day with you all. I do want to mention the t-shirt that I'm wearing is another one of my designs on my website in case you're interested. I am feeling extra thankful and blessed right now. I think it's because I got all that furniture painted. I've been meaning to do it you know, all summer long and I'm so relieved that it's done and yet I had so much fun. And no, you don't have to order this extremely bright red color like I did. Um, my eyes keep going to my screen by the camera. Um, I think it's the bright red, it's just catching my eye, but I'm not sure why I ordered this color. It's so not me, but I'm sure a lot of you could get away with it. But I was thinking fall when I ordered it and didn't expect it to be quite this bright, but uh, make sure to check that out if you're at all looking for something that is very fitting to fall or any season. And as always, I hope you're having a great day and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Bye.